Hey boys and girls, my name is Mrs. Williams. I'm the library media specialist at Brick David Magnet Academy, and we are so glad that you are in kindergarten with us. I only wish it was in person. We need to see your sweet faces. I hope everybody's doing well and learning a lot from your kindergarten teachers. One of the things we need to talk about before you start getting library books from our library is how to take care of books. So I brought my favorite little box called the No, No, Never, Never box because there's things in here that'll help us remember that we no, no, never, never do around library books. So let's open it up and see what's in here. What do you think is in here? What do you think would be in here? What are some things that we might need to do to take care of books? Hmm. Huh. All right, so one of the main things we have in here, do you know why there would be a water bottle in here? Boys and girls, water or any sort of liquid is not a library book friend. It is not. It ruins them. And what we always tell our boys and girls is when you start coming to school and you have your book bag, you need to put your water bottle or your drink container on the outside of your book bag in the little pocket that's on the side and not inside because even the ones that don't leak, guess what? they do leak and then we have a big mess and books turn yucky and I'll show you some of those in just a little bit so we never 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 want our drink containers inside our backpacks because I'm gonna tell you this boys and girls I've had there's three different ways our library books get ruined one when it has to do with liquid one is a water bottle leak or a drink container leak two um, oddly enough one fell in the bathtub. We'll talk about that in a minute. And three, I can't even tell you, but yes, one actually got thrown in the washing machine. We know accidents happen, but guess what? When accidents happen, books have to be paid for to be replaced. So you're gonna have to break up in that piggy bank and give Miss Williams some money so we can buy a replacement book. So we wanna take really good care of our books. So again, water bottle, outside of the book bag. That's why this is in the no, no, never, never box. Woo! Guess what else? Do you see that? Do you see this cute little puppy? Do you see how precious it is? Guess what? They are precious. But they like to do what? What do dogs like to do? They like to chew. And they will chew on a book and ruin a book. Oh, we've got to keep our library books away from these cuteness. This is Crazy Daisy, by the way. She's my puppy. Oh, and I love her, but I have to keep library books away from her. Let's see what else. In here. Oh, we have glue in our No, No, Never, Never box. Boys and girls, we don't glue around library books. And we never, ever glue pages on purpose. That happened one time. Do you think Miss Williams was sort of disappointed and upset about that? I was. I was very, very sad because the child chose to glue pages together. He had to buy me a new book. So we don't ever, ever want to do that. That's a no, no, never, never for sure. I have a fork in here. I wonder why. I think it's because we are no, no, never, never to bring our books, our library books, to the dinner table, the breakfast table, the lunch table, because accidents happen all the time, and somebody can knock over their drink, and it gets spilled everywhere. We talked about what happens with that, or you're like eating spaghetti, and it goes everywhere. It's all over your face and on your shirt. It's going to be on your book, too, so we don't ever, ever, ever want to take our um, library books to the, to the dinner table. The other thing I want to talk about is your hands. Let's say after you eat something sticky and yucky, you really need to wash your hands so that when you go and you touch the book, you don't transfer yuckiness like food or even if you've been outside playing, you want to come inside and make sure you wash your hands really, really good for like 20 seconds because we're trying to do that to help with germs anyway. So we definitely want to keep our hands clean while we're up, um, handling library books. Okay. Bathtub. Boys and girls, we need to keep our books out of the bathroom because 
even if the bathtub isn't full, there's something that's always in the bathroom that has water in it. You know what it is? Think about it. It's the toilet. And if a book ever falls into the toilet, please don't bring it back to Mrs. Williams. Just, just say you lost it and pay for a new one. Mrs. Williams does not want a toilet water book returned. Okay, promise me that. You promise you'll, hmm. But we wanna keep our books out of the bathroom. This little book right here, which is so, so cute. Would you lean over and get it? This little book right here is so cute. Lion Cubs, precious. Do you see how yucky and ruined and nasty it is? It is, you can't, you cannot fix a wet book, boys and girls. It, look how, look at that nastiness. So we have to throw these books away. Um, this book, believe it or not, one of our precious little kindergartners was walking through the bathroom while the tub was being filled up, just like this. And all of a sudden it went, pew, flew out of her hand. And went where? Not in the toilet, but it did go in the bathtub. And that's what happened to that book. And I really wish I had a sample of the one that went into the washing machine, but it turned into a big old blob of yuckiness. So when you're finished reading your book, you need to put them back in your book bag to keep them safe. Don't leave them on the floor so when mommy or daddy or whoever's coming through and picking up clothes and they pick up a big old pile because they're busy too and tired and they throw it in the washing machine and all of a sudden, they pull out a load of clothes and they're like, what in the name of heaven is all this yucky stuff? Has your mommy ever pulled out wet clothes when there was a napkin or something in it? It's a mess. So, keep them out of the bathroom. All right, let's see what else we have. Oh, we know that rain is water, don't we? And boys and girls, when you come to school or if you're out and about, don't put your book over your head like it's an umbrella. That's not gonna keep you dry and it's gonna ruin a library book and you're gonna have to buy Miss Williams a new one. The other thing too is if you don't have it in your, in your backpack, your library book when it's raining or even it just rained, what's on the ground? What are those little things y'all like to splash in? Puddles. A book can fall out of your hand and land in the puddle and then you're gonna have to replace it. So it's really important. There's a big responsibility to check out books from Brick David Magnet Academy's library and you have to take care of them because if you don't, you have to replace them. Just for kicks, Daffy Duck taking a bath. Keep it out of the tub. Oh, forgot this one, Crazy Daisy. She's a hot mess. Look how dirty she is. Oh, she's so cute. She's so bad. She's so bad. Oh, I wonder why I have this picture. Why would I have a picture of a baby in a no-no, never, never box? Is it because babies don't know that they're not supposed to scribble in a book? Is it because they know they're not supposed to color in a book? Is it because they don't know they're not supposed to tear pages? It's real important, boys and girls. We want to read to our younger brothers and sisters and cousins, but we don't want to leave them alone with our library books because they have a tendency to have a lot of fun with them. And then guess what happens? You have to buy a new book for the library. I have a pencil in the no, no, never, never box because we do not write in library books. We don't write in books that don't belong to us. I have a pen, same reason. I have a crayon in the no, no, never, never box because we no, no, never, never color in a library book. That just doesn't even make sense, does it? Do we paint around library books? No, everybody say, no, no, never, never. Good job. Have you ever, would you ever cut pages in a library book? I mean, oh, I 
hope not. That would just not be good. We don't need to check the pages. Oh, totally forgot about this. Boys and girls, do you know what this is? Anybody know what this is called? Who can tell me? Yell at your computer and tell me. It's a what? It's a bookmark. And we use a bookmark to save the spot in our book when we're reading. Now, sometimes mommies and daddies, when they own a book and they're reading it, let's just say maybe sitting at the beach or at the pool, they might save their spot by doing this to their page. This is called a dog ear. Let's see, it looks just kind of like a dog, one of those little fluffy, fluffy little ear things. Dog. Not for the crazy Daisy's ear stands straight up, so this isn't really her, but this is called a dog ear where it flops over to save your spot. That's a no, no, never, never with library books. You don't do it. And Ms. Williams always has bookmarks, so you put it in here and you close your spot. You never put a pencil in there because, boys and girls, this is called the spine of a library book, and the spine's job is to hold the pages together. If the spine breaks, what do you think happens? Let's see. If the spine's job is to hold the pages in the book and the spine gets broken, hmm, I think what happens are the pages fall out. And can you read a book with missing pages? No, you cannot. All right, so those are some major no, no, never, nevers, but let me show you what Miss Williams has to deal with on a yearly basis. I already showed you the bathtub book. So I'm gonna go through and I'm just gonna kind of show you some of the books that we have that we found in the library that have water damage or liquid damage. Now, when you check out a library book and you find one that looks like this, you need to bring it to Mrs. Williams or to my wonderful helper, Mrs. V, which you're gonna be introduced to in just a bit. Um, mm -hmm. And so um, you're gonna bring this to me because we don't want our boys and girls to have to read a book that looks like this because this is called mold and it's yucky and it's dangerous for some people. And no way, Jose, should Brit David Magnet Babies, darlings, precious little favorite children in the whole wide world, should they be reading or have to read books like this. I love this book. This makes me so sad. It's just, it's, it's gross. And we don't want you, so if you ever come across a book from our library that looks like this, you need to turn it into us so that we can take care of it and get rid of it because you don't need to have to read that. This book right here, got a little scribble scrabbler. Now we know a younger brother or sister did this, don't we? Yeah, somebody let their little toddler child get a hold of the library book and nobody wants to read that either. So if you ever see a book like this, on the library shelves. You need to um, bring it to us so we can mark it. Oh, one of our little brothers and sisters did this completely and totally ripped a page out. And thank you to the family that said, this happened, we need to bring this to you because that's what we're supposed to do. We take responsibility for things that happen when accidents happen. And so we appreciate this. This is what we like. What we don't like is when we get a book like this whose whole page is missing because someone put it back on the shelf without telling us. And then what happens is the next um, child that comes in and tries to check out a book and read this book, it's kind of hard to read a book when a whole page is missing. And especially when you start taking AR tests on them, you have to have every single page in there to make it interesting and to make it be understanding to you. The other reason why I held this book out is because our library books have stickers on them. We have a little reading level sticker over here and we have the barcode which is scan over here and it has a little spine label to help us put it on the shelf where it's supposed to go. 
They're supposed to be on there. We don't tear them off. Yeah, somebody did that. So we don't ever tear off the labels. They stay on the book. If you come across a book, boys and girls, here's another sub page that's missing a page again, bring it to us. If you find a, a book that's missed, it's scribbled inside, I told you you bring it to us. If you have find a page, a book that's torn like this, go ahead and bring it to Miss D and I so that we can go ahead and tape it before we lose the whole page and we have to throw the whole book away. Don't tape it yourself. We have very special tape that'll help us. If your mommy or daddy wants to put a little note sticky note to tell us what, what what's going on or if they want to put it on the page and say it's on page 12 that there's a big torn page um, can you fix it for us we're so sorry if it was in fact their fault or if you just happen to find it that way let us know this book this is what happens boys and girls when the spine gets broken see how that happened it just totally came out because somebody had a pencil holding that spot or they had it laying like this on the counter and somebody came by and smashed it or even stepped on it. We don't, we don't do that with our library books. Now, one of my favorite things, I told you what puppies do. I told you they chew. We like to say that the dog that chewed this book doesn't like kitty cats. Let's see what this is. Let's see what he left here. But see what he did? See what the puppy did? Chewed all that, chewed all that. Boys and girls, we don't have books like this on our shelves in the library. And this little child was afraid that he was getting so much trouble. Now, unless he fed it to the dog, he's not gonna get in trouble, right? So if anything like this happens, boys and girls, please bring it to us so that we can look at it, tell you how much it's gonna cost to replace it, and then you can get another book. Because that's one thing, boys and girls, if you have a lost or damaged book, you can't check out any more Brit David Magnet Academy library books until that's taken care of. So you need to remember that. That's a puppy dog. Look at that spine. That was from a dog. You can feel the little teeth prints in the book. So we don't want to do that. Now, Lewis. Lewis happened last year. Lewis had a great time with this book. He chewed on the cover. He tore out the pages. He chewed on the back. Look at Lewis. Boys and girls, keep your books off the floors and away from animals, out of bathrooms. Um, uh, keep your water bottles out of the book bag. Don't bring your uh, lunch, I mean, don't bring your, don't bring your lunch. Don't bring your book to the lunch table or the dinner table because some accidents can happen. And keep them out of the rain. If you go to the beach, don't, don't. Don't bring a library book down to the beach to read. That's a no-no, no, no, no. Let's see what else. Um, I think that's it. So hopefully I'll see you soon and we can go through the whole thing about how much we have left to go. It, what about this? What do we do with this? Do we put it in the book bags? And then y'all all yell at one time, no, no, never, never. And then I'll show you a picture of a baby. Do we let our baby brothers and sisters and cousins and neighbors play with our books without us being standing right there with them? And then we all yell, no, no, never, never. And then, and then we show the picture, oh, crazy daisies. And I'll say, do we let our books lay our books on the ground, on the floor with the dogs or the cats or the guinea pigs or the rabbits or goats? You might have a goat. Um, let them get hold to the book and then we all yell no no never never 
And then I'll hold up a picture of Daffy Duck hanging out in the bathtub, and I'll sit there and say, do we ever take our books to the, into the bathroom? And we all yell, no, no, never, never. And then I'll say, and remember, if one drops in the toilet, don't bring it back to the three. I don't want a toilet. I don't want a toilet. I don't want a toilet book. Do we, um, boys and girls, do we use our books as umbrellas and take them outside when it's been raining in the puddles and we all scream, no, no, never, never. Water bottle, get that. No, I hear you. No, no, never, never. Good job. Back to picture. What do we say about this? Crazy Daisy, what do we say? No, never, never. And then, do we paint? No, no, never, never. Do we color in the books? No, no, never, never. Do we write in the books? No, no, never, never. Do we read our books with dirty hands? No, no, never, never. Do we glue our pages together? No, no, never, ever. Do we cut the pages? No, no, never, never. Do you take care of your books? Yes, yes, always. Good job, boys and girls. I can't wait to see you in person.